exactly like you. This piece was written by McHugh in uh, 1930. Uh, it's a great little tune, and it has some things it can teach us. Give to you is a way that you can take a chart and to be able to create your own arrangement. I'm not looking to try to figure out how I can make it uh, very difficult. Uh, rather, quite the contrary, make it playable. And so you can enjoy it. One of the beauties about playing guitar is that you can play melody and accompaniment. And if you develop some classical guitar skills with the right hand, you can even bring out some notes and bring out the melody a little bit more clearly. The melody of this song has this in the first two measures. Kind of interesting is that the melody is going down four notes and then it's going up a third, down four, up a third, down four, and then up a third. Down four, up a third, down a fourth, up a third. Yeah. Well, a lot of times when we have melodies in songs, they either are in a scale-like fashion, they might be intervals that are part of a chord. Uh, in this particular case, I think you've got an idea that begins off almost like with a C major seven chord. And then this, more like a C ninth. one part as you're looking at it to see how the melody is actually is it a chord or is it a scale if you go down four notes <coughs> there are notes that you've skipped along the way and if you're looking for a way that you can take a piece of music and learn something when composers do something like this they're inviting you to fill in the notes that they skipped so instead of doing uh, quarter notes have done eight notes. You cover the same area. E to B, D to A, and back to C. And in the next measure, you can do exactly the same thing. Again, an interval of a fourth. And when we go to the G7, yeah, the same thing. writing a song or you're trying to improvise, that may be something that you can incorporate in other, other um, pieces as well, other songs. Uh, and this brings us to a valuable lesson, that whenever you look at a piece of music, a, a new piece, look to see what you, how the piece has been constructed and ask yourself, why did they do this? And you may find that you can figure out the reason. In this particular case, he wanted space. Bum, bum, ba -dum, thum, bum, bum, bum. That would provide an opportunity to even fill it in with a scale. I think that was intentionally done that way. Um, and he kept to that pattern throughout the A section. Now, when we get to the, the next section, he gives us. See, that time he doesn't go. there but he comes right back up to C but in terms of the scale itself it's the same as the very beginning right there yep. so we had down four, well, you could go up four.
most important thing is experiment. Take what you learn, try it out in different things. Sometimes you'll hit a couple sour notes and some surprises that you might say, oh, what did I do? I got to figure out how I did that and do it again. Best wishes on your practice. If you have comments, if you have questions in the comments below, that helps the station and helps me get out the word to other people of some of the things that you can do uh, to make guitar playing more interesting and enjoyable. Have a great week. Mm -hmm.